In this presentation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how we took a um, screen dump from a um, floor plan off the web, and then I'm going to use that, I'm going to scale that image, and then use it in order to lay out furniture. So the first thing we're going to do is going to start with a brand new document. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and verify that we've got our import image size is set to large. Um, I already took the screen dump, so I'm going to go to the second page where I'm going to put this screen dump. And I'll go ahead and change that so that I have turned the grid off. And I'll zoom out. <clears throat> and now here's my image that I captured off the web. And I'll drop that in. And I'll go to points mode and just kind of resize it. So what we'll do is we'll put it up in this corner and drag it down by the green handle. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and grab our drawing. There we go and use the images clip image to give us the image that we want. So we could resize this again so we'll grab our endpoint kind of position it a little bit better. <clears throat> okay so that's our image that we want to work with and I'm going to put the first page back on top and change that to a clear background and so now we have our image that we can draw on top of. Now what I need to do is I need to scale this, and so I've got the size of this closet. And so I'll zoom in, and then I'll just go ahead and lay out the lines for the closet walls. I'll move those into position. And we'll just kind of get this as accurate as we can here. So that's about right. And maybe touch it up just a little bit. Okay, and we'll put our dimensions on. <clears throat> now, the 8 foot dimension, as you see in the drawing, is actually 8 feet, 11 and 3 eighths of an inch. So what we can do is I'm working on a new feature which will allow me to put in a from dimension to dimension and will scale for us. So 8 feet, 11 and 3 eighths of an inch. And we're going to have that as 8 feet exactly. And now I'll calculate my grid size. And we'll see that the one dimension is exactly 8 feet, like we expected. And then the 7 foot dimension is 7 feet 3 and 5 sixteenths. So it's close. And we'll just use that as an example. And what we can do is, now that we've scaled our drawing, we actually delete what's on there. So now we have a scaled representation um, as a background. And so we can actually verify that. So we can zoom in and look at this one line here. This is going to be... 16 feet 1 inch and we'll just see how close we we can get so just uh, drawing our line and about there so how close to 16 feet is that well it's just off by a couple of inches so given that we just pulled this off the web that's pretty good okay and now we could actually go to our architectural items and we could scroll through and say for example we have a couch or bed we want to put in there. We'll start with just a couch. We would drop that in. <clears throat> now we'll zoom into that area and we'll go into points mode and we'll go ahead and rotate it the way we want it to face. And what we can do is we can actually create a selection area that selects that and we'll see that the width and height of that object are now um, displayed. So if we purchased a, a couch, so we just say um, was 8 feet 2 inches. We could type in that value and then say for example the other dimension was 2 feet 8 inches and we can update the image. Now to demonstrate we'll actually go ahead and show the dimensions. Oops, that's on. And it does need to update but now we've got the actual dimensions of the object. And so we could place all of our furniture items onto the drawing and position them and see how it would lay out. And so you can see how you can actually use this new scaling feature and using the um, from size to size to get a real, to scale a, an image so it's, um, you can actually then use as a backdrop to draw it. And that's my presentation. Um, hopefully uh, people will enjoy that. Thank you.